Hey guys, it's this bit of practical knowledge. So this is a really good one because it asks you, is it directly proportional? It's a two mark question, so it's not just a yes, no. You have to figure out why or yes or no if it is or isn't. Do you remember what directly proportional is? You're probably very used to directly proportional just meaning that it's a straight line graph that passes for the origin. But we don't have a graph here, we have data. So you think, how do I know what directly proportional means? And what it means is, if one of the numbers gets doubled, the other number gets doubled also. If one of the numbers gets tripled, the other number gets tripled also, okay? So we're trying to see, is that what this data is? So if the force gets doubled, so one to two, multiplied by two, what happens to the extension? The extension went from two to four. So yes, it also got doubled, but we're gonna triple check this. Let's look from one to four. When one goes to four, it gets multiplied by four. So that should mean this number also gets multiplied by four. Two times four is eight. So yes, it is directly proportional. So my answer is yes, as when one, when, as when the force is multiplied by two, so is the extension. And when the force is multiplied by three, so is the extension. I wrote three, but I did four here, but you can see it's also true for three. If one gets multiplied by three to get three, two gets multiplied by three to get six. So hopefully this is helpful. Remember, you can always join our online classes. The link is in the description. Thank <laughs> you.